Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We have the cartoon, mm. who's sad because he just finished his spruce beer, <laughs> and the rhino, and he's going to be more sad right now because we're drinking a beer that he's just going to love. We're drinking the Curmudgeon IPA. The Curmudge Curmudgeon IPA is 6.5% alcohol. It's brewed by the Grand River Brewing Company in Cambridge, Ontario. This beer has won the best IPA at the uh, Ontario Beer Awards. <laughs> no. All right, here we go. As long as it's not liquid Cascade hops, I'll be fine. It was bottled on March second, two thousand and twelve. So with an extremely fresh bottle. I don't like that color. Not even two weeks old. So all the hop flavor will be there. Hmm. Well, what was the last thing you drank that looked that color? <laughs> <laughs> The last thing I drank that was that color is what's going to be all over this table in two minutes. <laughs> no, that's not even close to the same. No, color. no, it's a lot lighter. This is nice, actually. Uh, this is actually a nice. This is actually more a rusty color to me. Yeah, that's. It looks what, like yeah. the eye beams above our head, Ooh. which shouldn't be rusted, but they are. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a minute of wood. Just... Oh no, those eye beams. Yeah. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, the eye beam. <laughs> I thought he was talking about the wood for some reason. I was like, what are you talking about? I know he's blind, but that's ridiculous. So, a little bit ahead. Doesn't look bad. Mm. I don't know. I was kind of hoping for something a little cloudier. <coughs> this is very, very, very filled. I was kind of hoping for something with a little more scent to it. Oh. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, this is scary. This is a silent killer, I bet. It's a no smell, and then the second it touches your lips, you just get assaulted. You get you get fucking mouth raped. Okay, first it's thing soft. I'm gonna bring up: no ingredients on the bottle. Fuck. Uh -oh. so you don't even know what's in there. No ingredients on the bottle. This, and this, blank this, caps. This, this could this could be carbonated hops extract. Awesome. Let's do this. Fuck. Then it really smells like nothing. No, it's it's very. I mean, it's there. There's like, there's a little bit of sweetness, a tiny bit of malt, and like some hints of. It smells more like the woods than anything else. Some hints of. Hops that I know I don't really like, so I'm kind of scared. Let's, go. Let's do this. No. <laughs> there they are. Didn't smell it, but it's there. Ooh, please. Oh. oh. Smells like nothing. Oh, That's his glass too. It's literally tickling the back of my throat. Oh, it's grease or something on it. I don't. No, now my wrong. teeth aren't wiggling, but <laughs> but the back <clears throat> of my throat is very angry with me right now because it's like bittery and tingling and it's all gross. It, makes it me is. Cough. It is very bitter. Oh, ooh, yeah, no good. It Mind is. Mind you, though, the flavor is quite nice. It just feels like shit because <laughs> I don't do bitter well, but um. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this an honest go because uh, I think very so nice far, and malty up front. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice beer so far. Then, it's actually well balanced until the finish. The finish is uh, is Caf all caffeine pill. Yeah, it's all bitter. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even very say bitter. I wouldn't even say it's like grapefruit bitter. It's more. Mm -hmm. There's a hint of grapefruit. You get a hint of the there's citrus. A tiny little bit in there, yeah. But it, it's more like chewing on a pine cone bitter. <laughs> yeah, and um, I'm not. I've chewed on a pine cone, I don't know about you guys, but I've done it. I've chewed on a pine cone. It's I, I, yeah, I, you know. I think everybody that's overweight has chewed on a pine cone the at least once. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> We're overweight. I, uh, I chewed on a pine good. cone because I, I used to be in Cub Scouts, so... Mm. Yeah. When you're out in a forest with a bunch of kids, it gets kind of gay pretty quick. Well, we, well oh. you might have to bite a pine cone for another reason, but I'll save that for the profit. They <laughs> call that the Roman tickler. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Fucking Catholics. Chow me out! Anyway. Right there. <laughs> I just chow me out the shit out of the Catholic Church. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, wow. Yeah, like it's it's building now with the better. Yeah, it it builds up with every sip. Uh, if this yeah. was for this to be. <clears throat> A great IPA to me, and I know I'm not a huge IPA fan, but one of my one of my things in it is it shouldn't build. The flavor should stay the same. When it builds, yeah. it means there's a little too much bittering in there. 
I think it might be the same thing we deal with the hot sauce is my problem. So they don't, you know, this might be the reason why there's no ingredients list. Is there might be some extracts in here. They may have overdone it a little. I mean, and not not getting a whole lot of flavor, you know, um, compared to how much bitterness is there. I'm not sure if this is. Um... Now I don't know many people in the OCB that actually use extracts. So yeah, but... I'm going to fight that they don't have any. Yeah, well, right I'm, I'm going to fight the fact that there's no ingredients list on here. So I'm I'm going to accuse them of it. Um, <laughs> No, really. I'm. Uh, why not, right? Yeah. Devil's advocate, you know, whatever. Um, because yeah, the bitterness builds. I mean, that's not that's not that's not uh, a, a natural trait for uh, you know. I don't know. This um, the beer could be good. It's just it finishes terrifyingly. Um, I want to drink it, but I know what's going to happen when I swallow, and and it, and it pisses me off. Yeah, um, it's it's punishing. You know? The the mm. better you buy it again. There are people I dislike. What would you give it out of 10? Out of 10? As an IPA, it's bitter. It's awesome. It's going to punch people in the mouth. People are going to love this. I I don't like it. We know this. It's not that big of a deal. I'm going to give this a 7.5. It's bitter. It's got flavor. It's got a great color. Um, yeah, I mean, go for it. If you, if you want to, you know, bitter it up, dude. Like, like if, if you like that shit, go for it. It's a good one. For me, I would put it at a 7.25. It's good enough. It's drinkable enough. It's just not anything that I would normally go out looking for. I would buy it again, sure. If I wanted an IPA, I know what this one tastes like. It's not the worst thing out there. No, I'd buy it again. It's nice enough, as I said. It's just not. It's not special. It's first off. Yeah. No. You know, you're right. It's not. It's not special. Mind you, uh, one thing I do want to say about the bitterness. One. One last thing before I shut up and drink this. Um, it, it's bitter enough oh. that it almost feels like a digestive aid. Like, it's almost medicinal. Um, it actually kind of has so, that medicinal taste. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which isn't that bad, because I drink a lot of Jaeger, so... You know. oh. Now, again, I actually don't mind this company, so don't get what I'm saying wrong. They actually made some things that we enjoyed. The Russian Gun Imperial Stout. Mm. Their highballer pumpkin was really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is good. I just... I was going into this knowing that it had won the IPA at the Ontario Brewing Awards, and I was expecting something different. I was expecting something more along the lines of like a Flying Monkeys IPA or a I don't fucking know or Headstock from oh, from our friends at Nickelbrook like yeah. something something that was really well balanced yet super bitter at the same time. But this this really does display the whole. Um, it's I'm, I'm not the right character. I'm not going to yes. say North American, but at least at least the craze about IPAs in Canada or at least maybe even just Southern Ontario. I don't know what it is, but this. This is why I've always hated IPAs, because these, these are the ones that came to me, and, and I didn't understand that, you know. So, I mean, I understand why it would win, you know, it would be celebrated here, for sure, without a doubt. Um, I don't think it would fly on the West Coast, because uh, there's, there's not enough grapefruit and citrusy going on. I mean, um, it's a good beer. Like I said, 7.5 for me, for an IPA that's hurting my throat, it's pretty good. And a 7.25 for me, so thank you guys for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Good beer drinking, all of you. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Let's chug this down. Whoa, then there's that. Oh, okay. Bye.